two tens, Larsen, Henning Hoff Larsen and Soren Christian Tupro come to India and to Mumbai to, to do some business or basically to do some engineering work, mm -hmm. workshop, and they're setting up workshop for, for, for some engineering equipment. And they did, and basically the equipment was related to dairy products, the dairy equipment at that time. 1939, the Second World War started in Europe, and things were getting very upset about, about, uh, about people moving from their country to another country, and all the migration process. 1939, the Germans were in turn, in, in, in India, for example, many German engineers were there or were not able to work. There were Danes were doing very constructive work for us at that time. And from 39 onward, 38 already these two Danes, the great Danes, were there in India. And by 39, they, they picked up, they, they, they expanded that business so much, the engineering and dairy equipment. They set up this company around, uh, around uh, much before independence. We got independence in 1947. And they got a very marshy land, unused land, in an area called Pawai in, the, in Mumbai, and set up a small little factory there, which expanded into now one of the biggest engineering companies in India, Last Man to Bro Limited, which is, I think, the milestone in the Indian industrial history, set up by the Danes. You know, it's such a great contribution by these Danes, two days basically. And Henning Hoff Larsen Foundation, which has been set up recently, is contributing to this festival, Copenhagen Film Festival, mm -hmm. which is happening in <coughs> India, in, in, in Copenhagen, um, that is called India Today, Copenhagen Tomorrow. Yeah. And that's very, very important, important event, culturally. Yeah. I think, and we started from 1938 to 2012. Wow. Such a great history, great journey, um, and that's a cultural journey, in fact, in a way. Mm -hmm. So that's, I think, important bond between Denmark and India, small little country in Scandinavia, Nordic country, and where India, the continental-sized country, coming together, is I think historically, culturally, socially, economically, very, very important. And what do you think um, an India will be interested in Denmark, the reason or the future of the culture that will attract the attention of an uh, average India person, Indian person? You should have been there when the Om Shanti Om, the Bollywood film, was shown in the, in the main square of Copenhagen in the mm -hmm. evening, yeah. a few days back. Yeah. And such a good response you know, from both Danes and, uh, and uh, Asians and Indians. They started dancing, you know, as a huge crowd dancing to Bollywood music and Bollywood dance, and it's, it's a great celebration, I think, coming together. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, we painted a big hoarding, uh, Om Shanti Om. The painters came from Bombay, mm -hmm. and uh, I was uh, privileged to have them, actually. I was instrumental in getting this together, along with Esper Anderson, who is the best of Dennis Film Institute and Cinematheque. Okay. So it, uh, people took a mm -hmm. lot of interest in it, uh, in the, you know, that kitsch. So it's also a celebration of kitsch. Yeah. And alongside we have this very art uh, films called Cinema Prayoga, yeah. the other extreme, other edge. So I think Danes are coming to know the two sides of Indian cinema, Indian culture, through various events that are happening. The paintings are there, the dances are there, Indian dances, and this mm -hmm. is, I think, very, very important event. So to, to sum up, do you think that there is already some kind of cultural bridge among the, to the two cultures? Of course, we are, we are leading towards that. Okay. And I think foundation has been laid already to, bridge, uh, to build that bridge. Okay. And, uh, this, this is how it happens in the history. Someone takes the initiative and then people join together brick by brick and mm -hmm. build a bridge. A uh, bridge is uh, constructed and uh, people go to and fro. And that movement has started, actually.